Dude, I can't stop being hyped for this game, man. I, I can't, I can't do it. CD Projekt Red keeps teasing me, man. I'm not even that big of a fan of cars. Like, I could care less about the horsepower and the brum brum, but all these options they're showing us, the freaking motorcycle, the, the, the 18 with the truck, the, the, the limousine, the, the corporate cars, all the... I, I can't, I can't do it. I can't, I can't play this game. I, I'm gonna no like this. Thing. I'm gonna no like it. All right, before we get to all the vehicle talk, let's chill out and talk about the different styles within Cyberpunk. These styles seem to mostly be affecting the fashion that your character has. And the first style that they showed off was the quiche style, or as I like to call it, the quiche style. Okay, I don't know. It freaking sounds like quiche. Now, the quiche style seems to mostly be defined by dyed hair and vibrant colored clothing, Seems kind of like a hippie to me. If you want to be a hippie, this is the style that you want to go for. So all your hippies out there, pick the quiche style. Then you got the entropism style. Now this is my kind of style. Throw on a tank top, put on some sweatpants, and I'm ready to go to a $200 steakhouse kind of vibe. This style is defined more by functionality rather than being stylish. One thing I really hope happens is that there are going to be quests and events depending on which style you go with. It seems that the quiche style wouldn't get along too well with people who are more entropy style. So hopefully, some kind of dynamic between the different styles is something CD Projekt Red accounted for. I also hope that there will be specific vehicles that you can only get from adopting one of the styles in Cyberpunk. Then you got the neo-militarism style in Cyberpunk. If you're a suit and tie kind of guy, in other words, the JT, the Justin Timberlake kind of style, this is the one for you. You could be riding around in your limousine, whipping it, listen to as long as I got my suit and tie. Okay, all right, I'll stop. Then finally, there's the Neo Keech style, or as I like to call it, the New Keech style. This is the style you go for that isn't as strict and uptight as the Neo Militarism style, but it still has that classy look going for it. I feel like there's a style here for everybody to enjoy. Whether you want to be a corporate man, a Justin Timberlake, or even a country bumpkin. Again, I really hope that depending on which style is chosen, it's going to affect other factors within the game. I know I saw a really run down looking car if the entropism style is chosen, so maybe you won't be able to get as nice of a car until later in the game if that crowd is who you decide to go with, which would be pretty cool. Cyberpunk's all about that freedom, that choice, you know what I'm saying? Alright, speaking of vehicles, let's talk about the vehicle variety in Cyberpunk. There's literally different classes for each type of vehicle. Like, classes for vehicles? What is this, a, 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 a freaking Forza game? Am I playing Forza Horizon 5? I don't even... So you got your economic class of vehicles that kind of look like trash and seem to handle just as badly, but then you got the executive class with the leather seated interior and powerful engines, and then you got the heavy duty class, which is probably going to involve your Ford F-150s and just those big trucks that you just want to get around in and muscle people out of the way with. There are even different styles associated with the vehicle descriptions. So for instance, one of the heavy duty trucks has the entropism style associated with it. So hopefully, I'm right about there being certain vehicles that can only be obtained through specific styles. And that even gives you more customizability to really get into role-playing your character. Mine's gonna be a country bumpkin with an 18-wheeler and I'm just gonna be running into people on the road while yelling, yee-haw, and I'll talk like this and, all right, I'm getting way too into this, I need to stop. Apparently, some of the cars will even speak to you when you enter them, on some Elon Musk futuristic type shit. I wouldn't be surprised if there's an in-game option to just allow the car to drive you to the location so that you don't even gotta touch anything. You can just map yourself and say auto drive. That would be a sick feature. I think that's probably gonna happen. If it's in the game, quick reviews, I called it, okay? Also, the different types of vehicles seem to affect more than just how you get around in Night City. So maybe when you need a little meat on your vehicle for when you're storming enemy strongholds, you wanna go in with an armored truck. Or if you're looking to get in and out of a location quickly, you might want to go with a motorbike or a sports car to enable that quick getaway. It's also confirmed that there will be street racing within Cyberpunk. I feel like there are going to be so many different types of people streaming this game on release date, and all these streamers are probably going to be doing totally different things. One streamer is probably going to be going 
pimp in their ride so that they can participate in the street racing or somebody else is going to want to go and make sure they got the best guns available to, to use during combat. Honestly, for real, I can't wait for this game and with every passing day, the fact that Cyberpunk will be in our hands soon is a very exciting prospect. Guys, you can't miss when I stream the game on release day. You can't you can't miss the, the me going yay haw and you know all the, the cowboy impression. So make sure to subscribe so you can join in and watch me play Cyberpunk live. Also, don't forget to cyber smash that like button, because otherwise Cyberpunk 2077 is gonna be Cyberpunk 3077.